Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to bring the world into Unreal Engine, well Google Earth actually, using CZM and in recent days it's been announced that you can now bring the entire Google Earth data set in and use it in Unreal Engine. The first thing you will need to do is to set up CZM for Unreal application and there's a quick start guide here and you need a Google Maps API. Now I'm not going to talk about the Google Maps API in too much detail because there is some documentation on how to do this but I will touch on this slightly and how to avoid making certain errors. Let's start off with the Unreal Engine part. The first thing you will want to do is to get Cesium. If you don't have this already go into your Epic Launcher and go to the Marketplace search for Cesium and it's completely free and added to your cart. This is the one we want, Cesium for Unreal. Once that's there in your library, you can just double check and at the moment it's only available for Unreal 5.1 and 5.0, not 5.2. So just click Install to Engine and I've already done this part and it will tell you to choose the version. I've chosen 5.1 and it will install it to your 5.1. The next thing you can do here is to go right ahead and launch a empty project in 5.1. I'm just going to go to games, blank, give this a name and desktop maximum and create. If this is the first time launching Cesium, it will take some time for your shaders to compile. You might have to wait up to 15-20 minutes if you've got a slow machine. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to into my plugins. This can be done by going into edit plugins and here I'm just going to search for the Cesium plugin. I need to click that and I'll have to restart my editor and probably wait for more shaders to compile. Once this is done you can close the message log in the plugins window and I'm going to go right ahead and create a new level and I'm going to create an empty level. You can save this and give this a name if you want. Next, if you've, everything's gone correctly, you should have the Cesium box here. I'm going to start off with the Cesium Sun and Sky. Your level should be completely blank here. I'm just going to press the plus sign to add this. Next, I'll add the Dynamic Pawn. And next, I'll add the blank 3D tile, tile set. Now, let's go to our Sun and Sky first. And here, you can change things like the date and time and solar time and day and so forth to get different times of the day, month or year. Now, what I need to do is to go into my cesium tile set here and this is the part where I need to make sure that I have my API for Google Maps. As I said, I'm going to touch on this briefly. Now for this, you're going to have to assign a credit card, unfortunately. Well, I had to do this anyway in order to be able to go into credentials I started a new project, ensured that I had the um, Map Tiles API, or select all the APIs whenever launch, whenever uh, generating a project, all the Map APIs. You can search for the Map Tiles API here, and ensure that it's enabled for your project. This is one of the first errors I had whenever I first launched this. Now, when you register your credit card details, it won't take a payment off it, but unfortunately to get on cloud, I had to do this and you will probably have to do similar. The other thing not to do is not to hammer or not to share the API with anybody because you will have a certain limitation unless that API is restricted. And if you breach that restriction, you have too many, um, too much bandwidth, your, your project is basically going to go down. It tells you down here about a, the number of requests that you'll be limited to. It is advisable by Google to restrict your API and you can restrict it by IP address, app, um, Android, iOS and so forth. Again, I'm not going to go into this into too much detail, but once this is set up correctly, you should just be able to click on the show key button and here you can copy your API key. Obviously, I'm not going to share this with you because you will generate your own one. But if you've got any issues with this, just hit me up in the comments below and I will try to help you. Now back to this section here and what we want to do here is to choose from URL here and the next thing I want to do is to paste this in, this API 
And additionally to that, I want to put in this URL just before the API. Okay, so when I copy this in, it equals my API. I'm just going to copy this part and fire it back over to Unreal. Put this here and ensure that that's all correct. And then I'm going to hit refresh tile set. If this is all done correctly and you have your Maps API there, you will start to generate the Google Maps terrain. We have Google Maps in Unreal. Here's a few tips and tricks to get you up and running. If you hold the right mouse button, you can use the WASD keys to scroll your camera. You can use E to go up and Q to go down. If you find the speed is too slow, go up to this top right hand corner, change the camera speed and even change the camera speed scale to start flying through the level. If you find the sun is too hazy, you can change this to unlit to give yourself a view without any lighting or haze. So I'm just going to use the E key here to go sky high and try and figure out exactly where I am. You shouldn't have to figure out. You can also use the geo reference here. If you click that and you click this, you can actually use the geo reference here. If you click on this to type in the longitude and height from Google Maps to take you somewhere familiar you should just be able to right click to get yourself the coordinates of where you need to go. Let's try this one here. Put this into Unreal and see if we can get an idea of where we need to go. And if I just start to move down here, it should take me to where I want to be. Let's change that camera speed back down again to something more reasonable. Once I have found where I want to be. Now I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I will do a part two on this if there is any demand for this, but these videos take a long time to edit and not a lot of people watch them. But if you, if it is, if I find there's a lot of views on this, I will go into this part, but there's plenty of tutorials on how to do this out here. Basically, I'm going to use a sequencer, a cinematic camera, and some post-process and fog effects and keyframe some camera movements in here and render it out using the movie render queue. And there is some really good YouTubers out there that have in-depth tutorials on this. And I don't really want to go over what they're doing but what surprised me the most is with a little bit of tweaking and a bit of rendering out I could get around the avoidance of the tiles having to preload and I could actually get some really nice renders coming out of this but this worked for me and I hope it worked for you too if you liked it subscribe and like I've been a bit slow on the videos lately but I'm trying to get back into it thanks for watching